Hi, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you are well. And this is a general reading for any sun, moon, or rising Sagittarius sign. We can take a look at the cards, get a sense of the messages, energies, and information for you to navigate the month. So let's go ahead and get started with your reading. Okay, let me get these squared away. Okay, so we have the Chariot, Major Arcana. We have the Lovers, Major Arcana, and we have the Prince of Cups. So it's a very interesting uh, set of cards because the Chariot is about movement. And you can see it's about being in control. That the Lady Charioteer here is uh, holding on to the reins and is driving the black and white horses down the path. And she's able to use her talent, her ability, her skills to negotiate whatever twists and turns come her way and to, uh, you know, to try to perhaps harness the energy of these two powerful horses that may want to go slightly in different directions. So the chariot is about movement. Things might be speeding up. Things might be heating up. And you are making progress to whatever goals or, or desires that you hope for. And the chariot pretty much tells us that if you can continue to do what you're doing, that you will have success, that you will find what you're looking for. So it's a... It's a card of um, confidence and again of taking, um, uh, taking responsibility and taking control and letting your abilities and your belief and your faith drive you forward. So then we have the lovers. And the lovers is a card where two people meet and have this amazing connection. And so when I see the chariot here, uh, leading into the lovers is a sense that perhaps it's just, there's movement with respect to relationships. And the lovers can be romantic, a deeply profound emotional connection that's passionate, that's energetic, that may or may not lead to something long-term and uh, committed or, or stable. These are decisions that the lover's card takes into account is that you begin to explore your values. You begin to explore um, the things that you're hoping for and, and see how they blend together. You know, are you on the same um, mental path of what you want in your lives? So here's the lovers where you are able to find this phenomenal connection with someone else whether or not it's going to have uh, the legs to last is to be perhaps determined for some. And you make these decisions based on how it's going, time spent together, how you uh, handle disagreements, how you handle um, uh, perhaps expectations in addition to values or hopes or dreams regarding um, uh, you know, children, and also uh, perspective on money is also important in these relationships. So here's the chariot, big idea, moving, moving, making movement, getting closer to hopefully your goals, and then we have the lovers here. So it's clearly something related to love. Not only that, here's the Prince of Cups. And the Prince of Cups is holding out the cup here as to say, here it is, here's the offer. I have love to give to you. I have uh, an emotional uh, basket full of goodies to share. And I'm uh, tuning into you and I, and I understand you and I'm sensitive and I'm loving. And so here's this opportunity again that we're talking about relationships. And so the Prince of Cups could be 
bringing in this moment where you are talking about how you feel for each other, how you are sharing intimacy, how you are expressing your hopes and your dreams as part of a relationship. So for some of you that are happily married or happily in committed relationships, this may be a deepening and a greater understanding of how the two of you operate. And so, you know, there's uh, a lot of beauty within these three cards from the chariot, which is the, the drive, the movement, the pace perhaps picking up. And it, that's exciting. And then here's the big relationship, the possibility of a big relationship. And then here's again, the sensitive, the, the romantic, you know, aspect of it, the sensitivity, the emotional connection, the way that you express your feelings toward each other and how you care. So I think it's a really lovely reading for Tuesday about relationships. I think about uh, what we want from relationships, how we're handling our relationships. And for those that are looking to be open-minded and to receive and to see what the universe is sending to you. So let's take a look at the numbers we have. Seven and six is 13 and one is 14 and 14 reduces to five. Five is about new cycles. It can be about conflict or challenges. Uh, it can be about adjustments and having to be flexible as well as finding freedom in some cases. And then finally, let me choose an Oracle card. We'll get a little more information for the reading. Life purpose. The purpose of your life is to serve in a way that brings great joy to yourself and others. Don't worry about finding your purpose. Instead, focus upon serving a purpose and then your purpose will serve you. So very interesting to find and to connect life purpose. And that's really a big component of relationships too how you both see the world and what you want from the world and what you want to offer the world in terms of your talents, your creativities, your, you know, everything that you can offer and to be of service. I think it's just a lovely thought here of really of, um, don't worry about finding your purpose instead focus upon serving a purpose. And so serving a purpose that you find fulfilling and then your purpose will serve you. So I hope that you found something helpful here today with this reading. And I'm so grateful for you taking the time to watch. If you enjoyed it, subscribe, like, share, or comment. Check out my weekly readings by Zodiac for more, for more information. It's more expense, extensive. <laughs> and come back tomorrow for another reading. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.